So these protocols for oral surgeons, why does an oral surgeon, with all of their training, need something like this? Oh, absolutely. Oral surgeons have extensive training in emergencies and emergency drugs, but they're so busy doing the procedures, monitoring their patients, their staff will benefit so much from training. Okay. okay. Their staff will be such a compliment to them in the training process for their staff to be able to leave them, obtain the drugs, go through the protocol, be that first responder, be that second responder, take the pressure off the doctor, let the doctor monitor the patient. So if the doctor moves ahead with monitoring the patient, deals with the emergency, the staff can pick up the drugs, the staff can compliment the patient, take the pressure off the doctor, absolutely. Okay. This system is for them too. Now you know the oral surgeons we've talked on the phone, it seems like specifically the oral surgeons, they're dealing with the more serious cases. Mm. Okay, so if you're training their staff with first responder, second responder, third responder, you're updating their emergency kit, giving them a new one, and the ongoing training is just one less thing to worry about, right? Absolutely. Am I getting also, this right with oral surgeons, yeah. And you know, one of they the, have an older patient base as well. Well, and that takes us to the point too is that as a doctor that is able to practice IV sedation, I am able to order the drugs for them in the um, arena of, of advanced cardiac life support because their drugs are of a different nature than okay. general dentist. So I could be of benefit to them in that area also. More, the more likelihood is that they're going to use their drugs more frequently. They don't have to worry about updating that. I can provide that now for them too. We should mention for people, especially the oral surgeons or offices that are watching this, that you had critical care training. You were IV sedation licensed and you had an emergency and you yourself weren't prepared. Is that right? I mean, that's how this whole thing started. That is so true. Having been certified in advanced cardiac life support, there is that disconnect between the emergency, the thought process, and the ongoing training. Nothing replaces the continual ongoing, continu the, the ongoing continuing education. Well, the nice thing though is now you have a team approach to patient safety. There's a degree of humility that is required with any emergency. And that's what I'm here to say firsthand.